for he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was sent down on the sea, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with this magic man? I have suffered many things. This day in a dream he killed him, but the chief priests that orders persuaded the multitude that they should ask barbarous and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Go to the twain, will you have the least unto you? They said, Barbarous. I was saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus? Which is what Christ they all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why, what evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, I let him be crucified. When Pilate's hands saw that he could prevail nothing, but oh, what had to be rather that all that was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, see to it. And then answered all the people and said, His blood will be on us and on our children. And released he barbarous unto them, and when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the crown and held unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe, and they applied the crown on thorns, and put it upon his head and reed in his right hand, and they bowed his knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail the king of the Jews. And they stood upon him and took the reed and swore him on the head, and after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off of him, and put his own raiment on him, and let him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, him that compelled with his cross. And when they were coming to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vigor to drink from the world of gold, and when he had tasted the robe, he would not drink, and when they crucified him, and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, and parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots, and sitting down from the wash them there, and set up over his head his accusation written, this is Jesus the King of the Jews, and when there were two thieves crucified with him, one of them on the right hand, another on the left, and they passed by and revealed him, lagging their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself, that thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the tribes and others said, He saved others, and thou be not saved. The people of the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. We trust in God, and let him deliver him now. Your view will have him, for he said, I am Son of God, that these also, which are crucified with him, cast the same in the sea, not from the sixth hour, and there in the darkness, and over all the land, from the ninth hour, and about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lala, and Sabbath, that is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Thou hast a Some of them. And that stood there when they heard, and that said, His man calleth my Elias, Eliza, and spread away all of them around, and took sponge, and forth with vinegar, and put the child for reed, and drew them to drink. And that said, Push me, horse, and see, when Elijah will come to save them. Jesus, where he answered, cried again with a loud voice, with a ghost.